morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome uh, to the GMTA booth at uh, the uh, IMTS in Chicago. Uh, my name is uh, Walter Friedrich. I'm uh, the president of uh, GMTA, which uh, stands for German Machine Tools of America. I like to very welcome you this morning. Uh, I gonna start uh, giving you a very short overview of uh, who is uh, GMTA. Uh, what uh, uh, do we do? I will not go into the details uh, uh, after my short presentation. I will turn over the word to, to Scott. Scott uh, Gnoy is our VP of Sales. And uh, he will uh, uh, then go a little deeper in uh, the different uh, machinery, the different companies and the different technologies uh, we are representing. After his uh, uh, verbal uh, uh, speech, I would like to ask you that uh, we're going to move over to our neighbor booth. And uh, uh, at this booth, uh, we're going to demonstrate uh, you on actual machinery equipment, what our latest and newest technologies are. And let me start uh, with uh, who is uh, GMTA? GMTA, like I said, German Machine Tools of America, established in uh, 1991. I'm the president of the company since 1993. So I got quite a few years on my back. <laughs> and uh, uh, we, since about five years, six years, uh, we have a second uh, location in uh, Guerrero, Mexico. Our headquarter, our mother company or parent company is uh, located in uh, Wuppertal, Germany. And uh, then uh, you see our two lo lo locations, Ann Arbor, Michigan and uh, Guerrero, Mexico. Here is a short, uh, I, I know it's hard to read, uh, <laughs> but the, the names are not really that important. Uh, just to show uh, the staffing of our two locations. I mean, the main location is uh, uh, Ann Arbor, Michigan, where all the sales and all the service is uh, directed and handled from. Uh, uh, in our Ann Arbor location, uh, we have 11 employees. And in our Mexico location, we have seven employees. And who do we represent? Obviously, our parent company, Profilator. Profilator also very well known uh, for the scudding machines, which is the latest and greatest uh, technology in gear manufacturing. Scott uh, will go into more details about that uh, later. I'm going to skip all the technical uh, portion of it uh, because Scott is going to cover that uh, later on. This just shows uh, uh, what the deprofilator equipment uh, uh, is capable of uh, doing, uh, what the portions of technology we are covering uh, with the deprofilator machines. Again, gear cutting, shifter milling, gear tooth pointing, polygon generating, chamfering and scudding. Like I said, I'm going to give you the quick overrun and then Scott is going to get in more details. Then, what I said earlier, I'm going to walk you over to our neighbor booth, which this is not just a coincidence, <laughs> it was actually planned uh, that way. Because if you turn around and you look at the big wall uh, here, you will see GMTA, you will see our parent company Provolator, and in the upper right corner, you will notice uh, the same sign uh, what you see over there, because we are also the North American uh, partner of three of the DVS uh, group company, the three left companies, Pitler, Provima, WMZ. Why are we only representing three instead of all six? Because we divide it in technology groups. We 
do all the soft machining, uh, the soft uh, uh, gear cutting, then it goes to heat treat and then uh, we only concentrate on the gear finishing and that is these three companies. The other three companies of uh, our partner is uh, strictly hard machining, uh, it is uh, gear grinding, it is uh, hard uh, turning. So this is a different uh, technology or a different avenue, so this is uh, covered uh, by another company. Here again, like I said, uh, Pravima for gear tooth honing. Is it Pravima for the gear tooth honing after heat rate when the part is hardened. Pitler, anything what needs to be turned, milled or drilled is uh, the Pitler products, which you also see over there. And uh, once we take our tour over there, we go into more details. I have to mention this one. You actually see the actual machine uh, right here. And uh, speaking about uh, this uh, module line, uh, we are actually taking this first IMTS show to introduce uh, this brand new machining concept to the North American market. Uh, speaking about that, I would also like uh, to point out that uh, in two weeks on uh, September 25th and September 26th, uh, we will have uh, a sponsored uh, uh, by the Alving uh, Bole Company. They are sponsoring uh, the location and uh, uh, together with GMTA and the DVS group uh, we will have uh, two days, technology days, where we specifically introduce uh, this new machining concept and uh, the production capabilities uh, what come uh, with this machine. Then our next uh, line out of uh, the DBS group are the WMZ machinery. Uh, this is also turning uh, machines, uh, but uh, here strictly for shaft. Working now? Ha, ah, okay. <laughs> Should I start over again? No, huh? <laughs> uh, so the WMZ uh, uh, machinery, uh, which is uh, also turning, uh, milling, drilling, uh, but now all for components which are shaft components. Uh, these, uh, the, the, the main technology of WMZ is sender drive. So that means you clamp a shaft uh, uh, in the sender and you can machine it uh, from both ends uh, simultaneously. Again, uh, you saw I skipped uh, through all the other slides which uh, go into the technical stuff because uh, Scott uh, is very anxious uh, also to speak uh, here. Uh, so the next uh, out of the DVS group uh, uh, is the, the discus uh, machinery. Discus is double face grinding, parallel face grinding. Uh, the name kind of says it, a discus, uh, which is a flat uh, part and it's machined simultaneously from uh, both sides to uh, uh, make it uh, uh, absolutely parallel. Now, we have just recently added two additional companies uh, uh, to our program. And the first is uh, the company Arnold. And of course, uh, since our name is GMTA, German Machine Tools, German Machine Tools of America, this company is also coming out of uh, Germany, out of uh, Ravensburg. Uh, uh, this company specializes in laser welding.
And then last but not least, the second new company we added is the company Rosink. Rosink is uh, specialized in building all types of park washing, park cleaning machinery or equipment. And uh, this about uh, sums up our quick overview of uh, who is GMTA. I, before I turn the word over to Scott, uh, I want to say one additional thing. Why do we have this many companies in our program? The reason for that uh, is kind of driven by the industry. Lately, uh, uh, it is a very fast pass industry. It is very quick changing and uh, companies like us, uh, uh, we always have to be on top of the latest uh, technology. In addition to that, with the, with the very quick uh, changing technology, I mean, yesterday uh, 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 we talked about a six uh, speed uh, transmission, for example. Today we talk about seven speed. Uh, uh, we are already talking eight speed, nine speed, 10 speed and uh, uh, already in the drawers of some companies are 12-speed transmissions. With this technology changing so fast, in our days, you don't just offer a machine or a process anymore. You have to sell a complete product. You have to sell a complete production. And that is uh, where we are specialized uh, in we can offer the customer, he gives us a raw part or a blank part, and uh, we can offer him a production or a machining solution from start to the complete finished part. The advantage, of course, uh, uh, for our customers, they need less resources, they need less uh, uh, personnel, uh, uh, they have to do less uh, traveling, because everything comes out of one hand. And this is really where the technology goes and the services go. That is a very, very important point. And that is the reason uh, why we partnered up with uh, uh, you know, other machine, machine tool companies to basically uh, uh, be able to offer to our clients or to our customers complete production solutions. I think uh, that's about uh, all. Uh, uh, what I have to say, I'm going to turn the word over to Scott, and uh, he will go a little more into the details. Anyway, after uh, uh, the tour through the machinery equipment, obviously we are available for any other questions. Thank you. Scott. Thank you. Good morning. Good, hello. Hello. Good morning, everybody. I'm Scott Kanoy, and. Uh, as Walter said, I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about the machinery. No, it's okay. No, no. Uh, thank you all for coming this morning. In the interest of time, I'm thinking that maybe we hit the highlights that we're presenting here at the IMTS. Uh, big news at IMTS right now. Is that better, Tim? Okay. Big news at IMTS right now is the gear scudding and the gear skiving technology. You might have all heard of that before. Uh, we've been doing this now for six or seven years, and it's finally getting into the market with the help of Tim Darrow blowing our horn for us. Uh, we've been able to get our face into many magazines, into many advertising spots, and uh, we do appreciate Tim's help. So the buzz in the gear industry is the scudding and the skiving. With the scudding, we make the machines at Profilator in Wuppertal, Germany. We work with people who just would like to make gears, hundreds of thousands of gears. They are absolutely gear-making machines. The automotive, uh, anybody with a very high capacity you need wants a profilator machine making these gears. We step across the aisle to the Pitler machine and the skiving technology. This is for large parts where people want to do more than just cut a gear. If they'd like to mill, drill, tap, grind, as well as cut a gear, then we move over to the Pitler line. Uh, Pitler can process parts from, on this certain technology, from 300 millimeters up to five meters in standard equipment. 
It's been extremely successful for us. Many engineers in the industry are now designing their parts around the scudding and skiving technology. The important thing to remember about that is we can make lead modifications with our axes and not with our tools. So on internal gears where you have been confined to broaching and to shaping by way of scudding and skiving now, we can taper and we can crown in extremely short cycle times making throughput much better. Also, I'm very excited this year that we have uh, the addition to our family of Arnold laser welding systems and Rosync part washing systems. As Walter told you briefly, uh, Arnold is located in Robinsburg, Germany. They have been in the business since 1916, I believe, always in the welding field. Uh, they have a number of machines located in North America, and we hope to do, uh, do quite a bit better. Uh, we're hoping to sell several systems per year. These systems are popular in many areas that we don't cover today. Uh, automotive manufacturer, or automotive component manufacturers such as Johnson Controls, uh, Foresia, places that we don't necessarily knock on the door every day. So we're very excited to add them to our family. But of course, they are still part of our core business, the transmissions, the axles, the engines. The Rosync Company, uh, they make a line of parts washing systems. They can wash parts from zero to two and a half meters. They have single part systems, automated systems, inline systems, a very complete line of parts washing systems. And they also sell the uh, detergents that go along with that. And they are very focused on the environment. So you'll hear the word eco quite a bit when we discuss this company. Again, going across the hall, uh, we're very proud to show the clean tech in our machines. Clean tech has to do with energy conservation in the machines. When these machines are sitting idle, they use less power than a household iron. So we're focused on bringing the energy needs down in the manufacturing world. As well, if on this machine there is a spin station, several thousand RPMs, so that the fluids are not carried off with the part, cons conserving those fluids for the manufacturers as well and keeping their costs down. And we're implementing that across the board. The Provima is also equipped with uh, clean tech solutions. All right, well, let's go take a look at the Rosync washer, if you have time. This is an example of, the, of a Rosync washing system. This is part of the Eco line. Uh, all of the products uh, manufactured by Rosink use an aqueous or water solution with chemistry. And to speak just a minute about that, I'd like to ask Martin to say a few words about the company Rosink. Thank you very much, Scott. My name is Martin Fulcaid from the company Rosink. Scott is right, this is an eco washing machine. Uh, this machine works on aqueous basis, working with the detergent. We designed this machine. We designed this machine to be a more environmental friendly machine. So what is the nice feature about this machine is that it has a plastic lid and also it is fully insulated. And um, what we have also here inside is a free product range uh, coming from top loaders to front loading machines inline cleaners and all our machines are fully stainless steel made and we hope that with TMTA we will have a very nice addition to our product range and a strong relationship. Thank you. Thank you Martin. Now we're going to move over to the Provima gear honing machine. I'm, su I'm sure over the past few years uh, you haven't been surprised to see the popularity of gear honing. There are a few reasons when a, a, co a company will require honing in their parts. Three main reasons. The first is noise. Uh, as cars become quieter, as we have hybrid transmissions and electric transmissions, gear noise is becoming a big issue. So a honed gear is a quiet gear. So that's the first reason and primarily why people are honing. When we look at the over-the-road heavy truck industry, 
they are more concerned with uh, robustness and durability. The honing process using dressable CBN wheels gives a compressive stress in the surface structure of the gear flank that's unequaled by any other manufacturing method. Even shot peening can't come close to the durability placed into the gear flanks by the honing process. And I know I had a third reason, but I slipped my mind. As we look, as we look at the Provima machine, you notice right away it's set on natural granite. Through our research, we have found that natural granite does, does the best job for thermal stabilization and doesn't transmit any vibration into the process. You might think it's expensive in a little bit, but there are three places in the world supplying natural granite, so the price stays relatively stable. When you look inside of the machine, compared to what our competition may be offering, you see a very large hone head. This is truly the heart of the machine. This is a 3,500 pound component of the hone. It is supported on both sides by very large, accurate bearing systems. And if you look at the competition, they support their hone head with only one bearing and it is less than half the size and weight of our hone head. So what we have here is a superior gear honing machine and it's proven every day in the market. Two other things we have on this machine that uh, are interesting to gear manufacturers. In the loading area, you can see there is a gear in there that is a master gear. We are roll checking every gear as it comes in. If it's too small and will not clean up from the process, we will reject it. If it is too big and will break the hone stone, we will reject it. Uh, it will also measure nicks, line of action. It's not a gauge, but an inspection device. Below it, there is a probe. A probe is similar to what you'd see on a Klingenberg or M&M gear checking machine. It can check the gear and come out with a chart that you can print or that will display on the screen for you, allowing you to audit the gear quality on this machine. Next, we're gonna move across the aisle here to the motor line machine. And Mr. Stefan Close is going to give you a short talk on the motor line. My name is Stefan Klus. I am since this year with GMG8 after I was 30 years with the DBS group. And I say a few words about the motor line. Um, as the name motor line already says, it's a modular concept. This machine is um, a DBS machine which can contain all of the technology which DBS stands for, such as turning, milling, drilling, grinding, double disc grinding, and uh, gear cutting. Um, the very big advantage of this machine, it has a very small footprint because all the accessories are within the machine. There are no accessories around. Floor space is expensive and though this machine makes really sense uh, with this big advantage. In this particular case we see a face and OD grinding machine which grinds uh, the front face and the cone simultaneously over here. And this particular machine is um, equipped with the DBS CleanTech, which Scott already mentioned a while ago. This machine is equipped with the highest efficiency motors. They have no hydraulics and the pneumatic functions are reduced to the minimum. Because energy is expensive and so they can save very much cost with this machine. And as Scott mentioned already, when the machine is in idle mode or not running, it goes down to a standby mode, which uh, reduces the energy consumption to a very minimum. The other advantage of this machine is there is a standardized interface to automation systems. The DBS group have different automation systems which you combine this machine with. A basketizer, uh, one or two table rotary screwer system, or in this particular case it's a linear loader with an integrated measuring system for a post-process measuring of the part. And also a spinning station for cleaning the part before measuring. Yeah. Uh, also, according to, to the customer's um, environment, you can put this machine either in the left mode, like the cabinet, electric cabinet in the left mode, and the um, maintenance areas in the right mode, or you can mirrorize the whole machine if your facility needs that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, well, 
welcome. My name is Frank Oldenburger. I'm the chief of the head of the sales of the DVS group. I also welcome you at our booth. Um, DVS means in German drehen, verzahnen, schleifen. That means turning, teethening, and grinding. And this is already saying uh, what we are doing. Um, DVS personality is not to sell a machine, not to sell a technology, not an automation. We are selling, if you would like, we are selling microns and we are selling price per piece. That means production. And this is something unique for our company um, because um, today's solutions are required. Um, they are far behind what machine tool manufacturer did in the past. So we are also in the responsibility and we are a little bit proud that I would say nearly all of the European Chinese and I would say all the substantial quantity of American gear producers, they rely on our machine. Um, the concept what you see here comes out of one experience because DBS Group is also producing a year 15 million gears. So, our experience we get from our own production, there we develop our technology and then we transfer it back to our customer. And this is a very helpful, helpful um, thinking. So, when our customers join to our company, they see that we also think in production. And out of that, uh, such a machine was created. Um, I always call this machine uh, like a Lego system, like the toy. Um, you put stones on one other, and if you have new requirement, that means to build a zoo and then you want to build a skyscraper, then you take the stones out and build it new. And the same is with this machine. You can change the technology. And what is extremely important is you can change all the technologies of the DVS group. That means over there you see the bunch of companies over there who are working for the technology, but this is not putting one machine beside another one. We can even take the technology and put it into one machine. What does that mean? That means that with one fixture, with one clamping, you do not change the part and you get an extremely high quality. Because as you know, every change can carry also the risk of losing the technology, uh, the quality. And su such things are required. And um, already um, G, uh, GMTA told you this is also the clean tech technology. What does mean clean tech? Of course, environmental um, aspects are important, but let's come down to dollars. That means clean means less maintenance. That means less interruption, higher availability. And this is the concept that stands behind. And the second foot of clean tech technology is that we extremely reduce the power consumption. Um, you see, sometimes Germans are uh, a little bit crazy. We are thinking about um, the, the energy consumption of a lamp. But this is really consumption in energy. And, um, when you see the machines working in the production process, they all not have 100% working. So, in that time, this machine reduces the consumption in the same amount like you have an iron blade at home, and this is fantastic. So, this is a concept, uh, for instance, that is issued to Volkswagen. We are partner of the clean factory concept of Volkswagen, so we developed that. And this machine is sold in a quite nice quantity in this new concept and also transferred already overseas to China. Um, so what we learn out of that, being close to the fabrication, being close to the manufacturers, and 70% of our business are gears. Everything what we love is gears. Um, and knowing this information and knowing about production, we develop our future. Mr. Oliver Koch, who is he? He is our PR um, man. And we issue every year 
a bunch of technology articles. These are not advertising articles, articles. these are not sales, this is technology reports. And um, this we do already 10 years. And so also for your um, press releases, we have a lot of in very informative and innovative um, press releases, technology reports. Um, because first of all, technology has to uh, convince and then um, we have maybe the chance to come to the customer and show our solution. So this is inside here, this is the news issue. Um, this is everything finished also in English. Um, so um, do not hesitate, we are here and uh, we are happy uh, maybe that we come also to some uh, closer contact. Thank you. Okay, now you got me again. <laughs> thank you, Scott. Uh, thank you, Stefan. Uh, thank you, Bernd. So I believe uh, this little overview uh, gave you a pretty good idea of uh, who is uh, GMTA, what do we do, who are our partners, and uh, uh, what uh, are we proposing to our clients. Uh, we have prepared some snacks over there. Please uh, go back there to the booth, help yourself. There's snacks, there's coffee, there's soft drinks. Uh, I'm sorry, but the beer comes later in the afternoon. Uh, and of course, for any questions, uh, uh, if you want to speak to me or to Scott or to any of uh, the uh, engineers, whether from the DVS or from uh, the profilator, uh, please feel free to do so. Thank you. Ah, of course, uh, we also, for each of you, uh, there is some bags uh, prepared, uh, which has a press kit uh, in it. It has uh, memory sticks, uh, brochures, uh, so please do not forget before you leave to take one. Thank you.